Hello, how are you? My name is Gordon, the nurse philanthropist. And today I want to welcome you back to this channel. And uh, before we start our conversation, I just want to thank my existing subscribers for the support they have given me. And I'm also grateful for those who are new here for coming to watch this content. So I just want to urge you, the new people, that uh, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscription button and also hit on the notification bell so that uh, next time YouTube will notify you whenever I post a new content. So today I want to talk about uh, an hospital system that is based in Tacoma, Washington State. This uh, health system is hiring experienced foreign trained registered nurses to come and work in the US under uh, H1B visa sponsorship. H1B is an immigrant visa, but uh, it allows you to stay in the US for three to six years. So this uh, health system is known as multi-level care health system they are basically operating in the Washington state and uh, they have uh, nine hospitals under them so this uh, healthcare system is uh, hiring international nurses and offering them a visa sponsorship to come and work in the US and for you to be considered for this position you must be a registered nurse, you must have a Bachelor of Science degree in nursing, you must have taken IELTS and gotten the required score that is needed by the U.S. Uh, State Department for you to be granted uh, a visa or a visa, a visa screen certificate. Then uh, you should also be in a position to show a proof of passing NCLEX or a proof that you've been scheduled to take NCLEX. So if you have all those requirements, then uh, you don't need to wait. You're supposed to go and uh, put in an application for this uh, job. And also beside those requirements, they will also want you to be working in uh, the following department. You're supposed to be working in the operating room or operating theater. You're supposed to be working in uh, intensive care unit. You're supposed to be working in emergency room, that is the ER. You're also supposed to be working in cardiac ICU or uh, neonatal intensive care unit. Let me repeat, for you to qualify for this position, you need to be working in operating room that is operating theater you need to be working in cardiac icu neonatal icu intensive care unit can be medical or surgical and uh, you should also be working in er so nurses with at least three years min minimum experience uh, obtained working in those units can go ahead and apply for this position as long as they meet other requirements. So this facility is uh, offering H-1B visa sponsorship and uh, from what I've learned is that this facility is unique in the sense that they have been exempted from any quota limit on uh, hiring workers under H-1B visa sponsorship. So that means that uh, they can hire workers under H-1B visa sponsorship throughout the year. So take this opportunity and uh, submit your application for this uh, position. So if you if your application go through and uh, you get a contract from this, uh, this healthcare system, so some of the benefits that come with uh, being employed with this hospital is that the hospital will be your employer and you shall get all the benefits that normally uh, that is normally offered to 
hospital employees and now this hospital is also offering better wages they are starting uh, their nurses at a rate above 40 and uh, they have ranged from 40 to 78 dollars per hour so this health system is also giving a sign-on bonus to the international nurses who are coming to work with them the system is giving 20,000 sign-on bonus to the international nurses and uh, this amount of money is paid in the first 90 days they will pay you 10,000 US dollars with the first paycheck then the other 10,000 US dollars will be paid after 90 days then as you get these uh, 10,000 that is getting paid after 90 days the system the hospital will also go ahead and submit your green card application after 90 days and all these will be done at the expense of the hospital remember even the immigration process is entirely being financed by the hospital the only expenses that you will have to take care of is the flight charges to the US and the hospital have also said that uh, they will reimburse you for that flight expenses and also all the expenses associated all the expenses associated with the credential process you shall also be given your money back so if I were you and I have a BSN I have at least three years minimum experience in ER operating room intensive care unit be it surgical or medical neonatal intensive care unit cardiac intensive care unit then I will have gone ahead and submit my application for these uh, position and remember you should have NCLEX aisles or uh, approve to show that uh, you've been scheduled to take NCLEX so take my advice my friend go ahead submit your application and uh, let me here in the US something good about this one is that the hospital is cap except this hospital can hire under H1B sponsorship throughout the year because the quota system do not apply to them so take this opportunity as others are waiting for the retrogression as others are waiting for the EB3 visa application to open up you will have landed here in the US under H1B in less than one year then again the hospital has committed itself to submit you for the green card application in less than 90 days of landing in the US so beside the green card application that is being put in after 90 days you shall also be getting your 10,000 sign on bonus which is in addition to what you got earlier with your first paycheck so go ahead and apply for this position and let's meet in the US in the next six months bye bye for now